king size WordPress theme, there's two ways to build a home page slider. One is the dynamic approach, which is enabled by default and doesn't require any additional settings aside from creating your slider items and customizing your theme options. The second approach is a static home page, in which case you must create a page, customize those page settings, then go to your WordPress settings and choose which page you want to load as your home page. The dynamic approach is a little bit easier. And in this tutorial, we're going to explain how to use that dynamic home page. So let's go ahead and log into our WordPress dashboard. And if we haven't already created some slider items, that's the first thing we'll want to do. So let's go locate slider in your menu and click it. On your end, you're going to just be creating new slider items. So go ahead and click the add new button. In our example, we're going to edit the existing home slide number one. The first area, just like any WordPress post, is your title. Next, you have your post content. This will be the text that shows within your slider item. And beneath this, we have the king size background slider options. In your slider options, you get the ability to choose to enable or disable the read more button. You can insert custom text for your read more button. You can choose to show or disable title and descriptions. You can customize the read more link. And if desired, you can open that read more link in a new tab. Next, we're going to assign the featured image. So in your example, you're probably not going to see an image right here. So for the purpose of this demonstration, we'll just go ahead and remove that featured image so we can have the exact same thing you're seeing now. So we want to set a featured image. We can either select a file from our desktop or we can select a file from those available. Those images that are already uploaded to your website will be viewable under the media library, which you can select from and set as your featured image. Next, we'll want to select a category, or if you've not created a category, you can click Add New Category, type in the category name, and click Add New Category. These categories will be used to filter your sliders for various uses and purposes. Once you've configured your slider item the way you want it, you can click Publish or Update and repeat this process for the number of slides that you want to create. So if for your home page example, we're going to create five different slides, we would create five different individual slider posts, each being a separate image, title, and description. After creating your slider posts, we can go to the slider categories and we can see that in the slider categories there is a column called ID. This ID gives you the ID related to that specific category which we'll be using in short codes and post meta options throughout the king size theme. With that post ID we can filter which slider is going to show on which post or page. So for our home page, we want to select the category labeled home page, which for us is ID 6. We're then going to go to our theme options, which is under appearance and theme options. We're going to select our home settings tab. And we're going to make sure that image slider is selected. Next, we're going to assign home page slider category, which for us is number 6. If we had 10 images uploaded to the home page category and only wanted to show five, we could put number five here and filter that by only five photos. The slider intervals and transitions are in milliseconds, so 5,000 milliseconds will equal five seconds. For slider transition types, you have available fade, slide top, slide right, slide bottom, slide left, carousel right and carousel left. For slider order, you have ascending by date, custom ID order, random order, or descending by date. You can display the description at top or bottom of the website. You can adjust the alignment. 
You can enable slider titles and descriptions or disable them. You can enable or disable the slider controllers. You can choose where the slider controllers are positioned. And if video background was selected, our next section would be the home page video background preferences. Here we would insert the YouTube URL or Vimeo URL or MP4 URL. We have the ability to enable, disable autoplay. We have the ability to enable, disable the control bar, as well as enable or disable video repeat. Once you've configured those settings, click Save All Changes, reload your home page, and you should see those changes reflected there. If you have problems or questions, please visit our support forums at ourwebmedia.com support.